Hi, it's Grant here, and we are at the uh, senior community in uh, North Mission Viejo called Palmia. And what we're going to look at today is the uh, community and some of the features it has to offer, as well as one of the homes for sale, a single story home, absolutely beautiful, that uh, if you're 55 and older and you're considering living in a senior community, you couldn't do much better than Palmia here in uh, Mission Viejo. So uh, join us on our tour today, and this is, if this is your first time to our channel and want to know everything there is to know about living in South Orange County, you definitely want to subscribe to our channel. Tap the subscribe button below and join us on uh, some of our adventures throughout the neighborhoods and communities here in South Orange County. This community is built in the 90s, so it's newer than Costa del Sol and Laguna Woods with just as many amenities. But the HOA fees, despite having, having more or as many amenities, are actually much lower than both Laguna Woods and Costa del Sol. Um, but the regulations here are not as stringent as in uh, Laguna Woods. I've sold homes in Laguna Woods and the regulations they have on purchasing is completely insane. And as a consequence, uh, the home values are a lot less than here in Palmia and in uh, Costa del Sol for that matter. But uh, Palmia being a newer community is much nicer. While watching our channel, many of your questions will be answered, but we know it's impossible for us to address them all. So don't hesitate to type your questions down below in the comments. Or if public commenting is not your thing, you can always call, text, or email me. I'm glad to hear from you. I'm Realtor Grant Lowell, and as a buyer, my expert services are completely free to you. I'm friendly and fun to be around and available now to help you. We're walking in front of some of the homes here in uh, Palmia. There's two-story homes. Uh, we're on one of the single loaded streets. That means there's only homes on one side. So as you can see, there's no homes on that side of the street. And there are homes on this side. They have two-car garages, nice driveways. And all the homes on this particular street happen to have excellent views of uh, Mission Viejo, where we are now. And uh, we're actually really close to uh, Rancho Santa Margarita, too. Uh, right outside of the uh, gates of Palmia is Rancho Santa Margarita Parkway. Takes you right there into Rancho, North Rancho Santa Margarita. So we're on another one of uh, Palmia's single loaded streets. We're just cruising around, taking a look at some of the fronts of homes to get an idea of what the community looks like. All the homes are really in good condition. The HOA does take care of a lot of the fronts, the front yards. So we're now off the single loaded street. There's homes over here on this side too. Now we're going to take a look at one of the homes in the center of Palmia, a three bedroom, two bath, single story home. This home has a good size view lot and it's 8,824 square feet. The main living room opens up into a great room with kitchen, has a uh, nice window that looks out to the front um, over the sink, a large center island. It's got fairly updated appliances, but the feature that you like most in this particular home is the view lot that you can see out the window right there. Here's the uh, master suite. You've got another large sliding glass window where you can enjoy the fantastic view. It's got a really nice uh, bathroom with a walk-in closet as well. The living room actually has a really cozy fireplace. And then down the hall, we've got the uh, two-car garage that's been upgraded with its own cabinetry. And then down the hall, we have uh, another bedroom, bath, and inside laundry. Fantastic home. Really quiet here. You can hear the birds. Very peaceful. Let's just go down this one cul-de-sac street right here. Take a look. You can see the hill, there, there's houses up on the hill. 
Again, they take advantage of the hill to create view homes. So a lot of the homes that come off this main street have a tiered pattern. So the ones on the hillside all have views, making them very attractive. Going down the main drag here in Palmia, taking a look at some of the side streets that go off the main Riviera. Just go down this uh, Miramar side street just to go down this one too, give you an idea of what it looks like. So, homes on both sides of the street, there's single story and two story homes on the street. Uh, very nice uh, driveways, very generous. Go down Medina, a little cul-de-sac street. Again, very peaceful here. You hear the birds chirping. One of the nice things about uh, the community of uh, Palmia here is the main in, in, ingress, egress street doesn't have homes on it. And it's a good thing because that this street that we're on right now has the majority of the traffic that comes in and out of the community. We're on Monterey and uh, Rancho Santa Margarita Parkway is right through the gates right here. So we're crossing the street here on Rancho Santa Margarita Parkway, right behind me, and then Promenade, right at the entrance of Palmia. They've got this really neat fountain feature right here at the entrance. And it's one of the many features that they have here at Palmia that just make it a great place to live. Uh, we're gonna take a look at, uh, on a tour today, we're gonna take a look at some of these features that we've got in Palmia. But what we're going to take a look at now is the uh, clubhouse and all the amenities that uh, Palmia has to offer. So we're just cruising right into the parking lot. We've got paddle tennis, tennis. We've got a pool table, library that's stocked with DVDs and of all kinds. Uh, free to all the residents. There's books. Uh, there's a gym, complete gym for the residents. A great place to live. Oh, here's some people coming out now. Looks like they just went to the pool. So we're next to some of the tennis courts. We'll just peek in there so you can take a look at uh, how nice everything is and how well kept it is. One of the tennis courts. And then they've got this other tennis court with a viewing uh, viewing area. Really nice. Little place to keep score. Even leave balls out for you, you to use when you're practicing. So they have all the activities, like a menu of activities, all the things that uh, you can do when you're here. And the HOA fee, it's, it's not that much here. It's less than uh, Costa del Sol and Laguna Woods. Here's the uh, putting area. It's huge. But one thing they have here that's kind of neat is they have a, a tournament here, putting tournament, every Saturday morning. All the residents like to compete. You can see how far back it goes, all the way to where that uh, turquoise umbrella is it goes way back over there. We'll walk over there. But there's a, a water feature here. Um, there's a pool, spa, and there's a uh, this is a uh, stretching area for the people that like to run here. So got some people playing bocce ball right over here. And then you got shuffleboard. Got a little 
scorekeeping. So it's really a lifestyle here in Palmia. Here's another uh, stretching area for the uh, runners. Stretching when you go running, your different stretches. Like if you lived here and you ran and did all these stretches once a day, I mean you, you would for sure last a lot longer than if you just stayed at home. Here's some of the dedicated pickleball courts. Pickleball is really getting big these days. Big sport. In fact, there's a lot of professional tennis players that uh, crossed over and now are, are playing pickleball. Really made some of those uh, players, dedicated pickleball players that uh, became pros, uh, regret becoming pros because the tennis players, you know, a lot more competitive. And when they switched over, you know, they're the tennis players are dominating in pickleball. In fact, I heard that they paid uh, John McEnroe $1 million to participate in a pickleball tournament not too long ago. So we're over here at the end of the uh, putting golf course. We'll just stay on the trail, walk around. So we're at the very uh, south end of the community and it overlooks this park right over here. A lot of things going on here. We have soccer. It's through the trees, so it's hard to see, but. And we're above the lake, Mission Viejo, but we're still in the city of Mission Viejo. And they have the uh, Something you don't see on regular putting greens is the uh, practice kind of tee-off area. So you're on the path, looking at the putting green area. It's a huge putting area. Actually, 18 holes. Now the road noise that you hear is coming from Rancho Santa Margarita Parkway, which is right on the other side of this fence, right over here to my right that you can see through the trees, which does shield a lot of the noise. We've got a nice water feature here. I'm gonna go over a little bridge. No fish. Let's go over this little bridge right here. Tea box area. Hole number one. That's where it all starts every Saturday morning. There are also many social clubs at Palmia. They're sure to spark, spark your interest. We've got the ample parking area, fountain, right off the uh, 18 hole putting golf course. Uh, we've got the uh, resort style pool, spa. There's a gym, there's lots of social clubs. Just a great community. Highly recommend if you haven't been to Palmia, taking a look at the community, walk around the putting green. So you got ample, this is the clubhouse entrance right here. Ample parking. Never a, never a shortage of parking here. And then in the background, Got Saddleback Mountain right over those rooftops right there. I really appreciate you coming on this tour with me, Grant Lowell. If you are looking for a home anywhere in South Orange County, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call, 949-354-4464, or you can text me at that same number, or email me at grant at grantlowell.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.